Hello, I'm Amy. Welcome to the Furniture Flipping Sisters, where we try to help you learn how to succeed in flipping furniture. Today, we're going to be talking about tips and tricks when selling on Facebook Marketplace. But first, let me introduce you to the crew. I acquired this fabulous table from a dear friend. My plan was to give it to one of my children, none of which had room for it. So I decided to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I soon found out that Marketplace is a fickle place to try to be. I was getting no bites on this table. So I decided to take the pillars and paint them a white color that, so it would cover more of a broad base of people. So I went, I just grabbed each of the pillars and I took some spray paint. I actually had some cream colored spray paint that I used for a base color and then painted over with white. I think it turned out beautiful. Then I listed it on Marketplace. Nothing. Week after week. And I tried different types of staging. I did all different price ranges. Still nothing. I was down to where I was about to give it away for free and still nothing. I just couldn't get this to sell. Now this was the first item I'd ever tried to sell on Facebook Marketplace. I just wanted to flip this thing upside down and get it sold, but it just wasn't working for me. So what did I do? I called my sisters. Now realizing we were all just starting in on this flipping furniture business, but they gave me some ideas of how to flip this piece. They gave me three suggestions. Number one, they suggested I paint a gold ring around the pillar somewhere because that's very trendy. Second, they suggested I up the price. Sounds crazy. And then they said to offer to deliver. Now, I figured I've already had this on the market for six months. What's it going to hurt? I'll give it a try and we'll see what happens. So that's exactly what I did. I painted the pillar on the very bottom with some spray paint. It was very easy. I just taped it off, got a $5 can of gold spray paint from Walmart and painted the bottom because that's just such a trendy color. And then I thought, well, I could put a little bit of gold spray paint on the flower up at the top of the pillar, but I wanted it to be the exact same color. So I just sprayed the spray paint into a paper plate and then took a tiny paintbrush and painted that same paint onto the pillar. So here's what it looks like when it was finished. Now, remember, they suggested I up the price. I was nervous because I really needed this to sell. But that's exactly what I did. I put it for $275. Now, you have to realize I'd gone down to $50 and no one wanted it. Amazingly, I sold my first item on Facebook Market. Yes, it took me six months to do it. But as soon as I did those three things that my sister suggested, it sold within three hours. Yes, I had a huge learning curve. That is true. And now that I know what I know, I should have done some of those things earlier on. But this is how we learn. So I'm going to talk to you about five tips to try if your flip isn't selling. Number one, figure out a way to change it up. In this case, I just added a gold ring. Number two, change the price. Sometimes that even means upping the price. I know it sounds crazy, but it worked. It put me in a different price bracket on the Facebook Marketplace. Number three, restage the photos. How you stage the photos really sets the mood 
for the picture. And sometimes people can't see past that. Number four, add additional markets, especially if it's a fairly high priced item that you've worked hard on. You don't want to just give it away. So it might be worth driving even a hundred miles if you can get a good price for your item. And finally, offer to deliver. Definitely with a glass tabletop, that was a big factor in why people didn't want to buy it. They were afraid they'd break it before they even got it home. The bottom line is, my sister's suggestions worked. Oh, I can't believe how happy I was that it finally started to come together. Then I had confidence. Once I had marketing tools in my belt, my flips started selling within two weeks of listing. Now realize, we've been doing this for almost a year now. And so we just really wanted to be able to show you and teach you what it took us a long time to learn. So you don't have to go through the same things that we went through in order to start making a profit. Once I had an idea of what would work on Facebook Marketplace, I came up with some strategies because I've been selling a lot of items now. In fact, I have multiple items any given day up on Marketplace. So I wanna help you to learn how to get your footing in that market. Number one, join a number of different Facebook markets in your area. There are a lot to pick from. Number two, stay neutral in those markets. Number three, when selling multiple items at the same time, take notes on a post-it and put it on your furniture piece to help remind you what your final offer ended up being. Number four, don't mark an item as sold until you have the money. Buyers are liars. <laughs> it's just an old saying, but it's kind of true. We all change our minds on occasion or something comes up and we can't buy the item we had discussed after all. That's really okay. The one thing you've got to do if you're flipping furniture online is realize that this does happen and it's not an attack on you and there's no reason to be sad or upset about it. It just is and that's why I put it in. I'm not trying to uh, put down buyers for sure because if you didn't have the buyers, flipping wouldn't work but you just never know what's going on in their life. So just don't take it personal. And that's why I don't mark it sold because a lot of times things could possibly fall through and that if you haven't marked it sold, you can use a backup offer or you can send a note to somebody and say, okay, this was sold, but it fell through, so you're welcome to it. The other thing that I have found is you end up getting more buyers when things appear to be sold. So when someone says, is this still available to you, a marketplace? And then you say, well, I've got someone who's made an offer, but they haven't purchased it. But I will let you know if it falls through, you will be next in line. And for some reason, people like what they can't have. So it can come to your advantage. So what I'm saying is don't panic if the sale falls through you can always resell an item. Number five is a repeat of number four, which is remember to be kind. A bad review can ruin your flipping business. Number six, only offer delivery as a last resort. When you start having multiple items on there, that can really run you around. And most people don't mind picking it up. Again, only use that as an a, a last resort. It can certainly be a final piece that might just sell your furniture. If you Sometimes you end up with multiple offers, and so you don't even need that as a carrot out there dangling, so to speak. My final tip is to set up a time in your schedule for pickups and let them know what that time is right up front. In fact, I usually put it on my postings. I personally have a full-time job, so this is a side gig for me. I don't want to be running around all the time, and so sometimes I have multiple buyers coming at the same time for different pieces. 
Again, that's why I'm glad I have that little note on my post-it so I don't have to get confused. Dave is going to be here at 6.30 to pick up the ottoman. And that's very helpful. Buyers like to think they're the only person in your world, so let them think it. I'm only scratching the surface of what I and my sisters have learned. There's more where that came from. So if you want to learn more of what we have learned, follow us for more tips and tricks and some fun flip ideas too, because we are going to have a good time. The most important thing to remember is it doesn't have to be perfect to be awesome. <laughs>